Good morning, folks. My name's the second son. Just about every morning I take a walk around the pond. Just about every morning I find a plant that I have no idea what it is. I aim to change that. So, starting today, I will pick one plant along this walk, and I'll figure out what it is. This is my first plant. It's pretty. It's got nice little white flowers. It's a bush. Let's go figure out what it is. So, in trying to identify this plant, I went looking for plant databases that had some kind of actual guide. And I was lucky enough to find this website, Native Plant Trust Go Botany. So I went down the dichotomous key. Now the dichotomous key is basically a list of multiple choice questions. And as you answer them, it narrows down what possible plants you could be looking at. Very useful website. And I'm pretty happy that I found it this early on. I expect to be coming back to this one often. And here's where it breaks down for me. Because neither of these choices match my plant. My petals are not pink to purple. They are white. But they are not in spherical clusters. They are individual flowers. So that leads me to believe that this may be an invasive. So we go to several other invasive websites. There is the Invasive Plant Atlas, which seems to just kind of dump a block of unedited HTML at you. Super cool. After many minutes of searching, I've found the USDA Invasive Species Information Center, which is horrible to try to actually identify a plant with. None of these tools actually put any power into the hands of the individual to find, identify, or deal with invasive plants. This whole thing on day one has now taken on a fully new form for me. If there is no way to identify invasive plants consistently and reliably for free on the web, how do we expect to stop them? What is going on? So instead, I just started looking up characteristics of the plant. Now I'm just looking at a bunch of plants that all look very similar to the one that I'm trying to identify. I believe that we are looking either at a Japanese Barbary or Japanese Honeysuckle. Digging around back and forth, I've decided, I have decided, not because some guide told me that, you know, this is correct. I'm just going to have to assume that I have found my plant because no guide actually runs me through the dichotomous key. Why not? The dichotomous key should work for every plant cataloged by any biologist ever. And yet there is no dichotomous key for invasive plants. This is a problem. If we can't identify these plants, how do we deal with them? Regardless, my plant is Japanese honeysuckle, an invasive and one that should be swiftly removed.